Join us today while we explore a Pittsburgh hidden gem while also doing a falcon encounter. Only today on This Happy Place. Hi friends. Hi friends. We are spending an afternoon today doing something a little bit different for you. We're not in Disney. Surprise. And we're not on a ship. <laughs> we are actually in our hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And Jake surprised me a couple of weeks ago with tickets for a falcon encounter at the National Aviary. Mm -hmm. So this is a bird zoo, essentially. It's actually the only privatized mm -hmm. AZA accredited zoo for birds. That focuses on birds. Yeah, there are there are sloths in there too, so it's yeah, not all birds. birds. <laughs> but. but I actually interned here about nine years ago, and I think the last time I was here, it was maybe like seven or eight years ago, and already from the outside, it looks completely different. And I'm so excited to share it with you. We're going to go in, show you what, they're, what they have in there, all of the exhibits, the birds, and then we are doing a falcon encounter. So we're gonna learn specifically about falcons and get to hold one. Exciting. It seems really cool. So let's, uh, we'll show you around. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 
was everything I wanted and more. That was pretty darn cool. It's short though. Yeah, it'd be pretty, you gotta duck down pretty low to get in there. Yeah. <laughs> When I interned here, I spent like 45 minutes every morning in this room just hosing everything down and squeegeeing the floors and cleaning it all up. And I think the grasslands area is really, really just like underappreciated. The birds are so beautiful and small and fearless. And because behind me, the wetlands is under construction right now, we've been the only ones in here for like 10 minutes and it's really cool. Now someone's coming in because I just spoiled it. You think he's mango? Ready to meet some falcons? Yes. Encounter some falcons. Yes. Very. <laughs> oh, nice. My favorite part. <laughs> you you have some experience yeah. with. It's just so weird looking. I, I'll never think it's not weird looking. Yeah, and I mean, the, the power for these raptors is in the foot. Whereas for a parrot, the power is in the beak. You know, it's based on the adaptations that they have yeah. for um, how they are um, getting their food sources, how they're taking care of their nests, that kind of thing. Eagles, your owls, different kinds of hawks and falcons. And if, um, if you look at the shape of the wing, it tells you a little bit about the bird, about kind of how, how they're flying, how they might yeah. be hunting. And so an eagle is very broad wing and have a lot of lift, um, prefer to like, be out over open spaces. And if you look, the red tail hawk here, the bootio hawk, is almost identical, just smaller scale. Yeah. This is a picture of a peregrine falcon, mm -hmm. which is the fastest diving bird in the world. They've been clocked at over 200 miles per hour diving here. You can see that we have modeled airplanes after them. Yeah. Uh, we learned a lot from watching birds. I mean, just building the basic airplanes was, they figured that out from watching birds and how the birds were manipulating their yeah. wings. Are you ready? So this leash system, as I mentioned, this is falconry equipment. You'll see around his ankles, there's two anklets, um, one on each, and then there's a brass grommet. Through the brass grommet is um, a piece of leather that is called a jess. Who would like to go first? I think I'll go first. I figured it would. <laughs> I know it's never like a lot, but how much does he weigh? He is very light. Yeah. So um, let's see, he's uh, Maybe a pound and a half. Okay, yeah. Two pounds, maybe. Wow. Yeah. I, it's the feathers. It's so. what, and when you have them out here, it's different because you're like, when you're not used to having them out there. Yeah. You don't notice I have him in. I have a, I know him. Yeah. Well, right. Yeah. Um. So, so come on up. Do you want me to stay in the seat to film? Or? You can stand up, but if you can stay six feet away from him because sure. they don't like anything coming too close to them, you can take a step back. There we go. Okay, arm out to the side. There you go. So can you make it like this? There you go. Good job. Hi, buddy. I know. I know, bud. That was a piece of quail. Oh, okay. It's always not quail. <laughs> <laughs> so he is a male. His name is Squire, and he 
he again is a landmark dolphin, which is um, a native species to Africa. His coloring is such that he would blend in really well with the deserty um, mm -hmm. terrain there. You are so handsome, buddy. So handsome. So I'm gonna have you open your hand. Okay. Just open your hand now. Thank you. <laughs> You're so welcome. cool. Your yeah. arm's gonna start to hurt, I will tell you. Okay. It's, it's insane how quick it happens. How quick one pound and a half can Yeah, be. yeah. When you're not used to holding your arm out with something on the end that is moving around a little bit, yeah, it's like changes the game. It's completely. insane. He is just so handsome. He's and really he, handsome. I can see why why he was on TV. He's definitely got a face for, for show. <laughs> say all of our Falcons do, but yeah, yeah he's, of course. he's um, yeah, he, he did a great job. If you look him up, if you look up um, Jimmy Fallon and, and Falcon, um, you might see him. Oh, we'll definitely have to do that. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. 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 he was, he, he was flying on that. That's so cool. Yeah. I don't know if you said, how old is he? Um, I did not say. He is, and my years start running together, so I do apologize. I think he's probably like nine or ten right now. Okay. <laughs> um, he came in um, from another facility okay. um, and was uh, in, in training with our team. Okay. Yeah. So now is that, you know, nine, ten years, is that young, old, middle-aged? Um, like in the wild, it's years? gonna be middle-aged to maybe a little bit okay. older, um, a lot more challenges Midlife crisis. out there. Yeah, hopefully he's only like at, at middle age here. Yeah. yeah. In the bird world, it's usually the larger the bird, the longer the lifespan. Mm. So relaxed. You can tell he's a true professional. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna have you open your hand as well. There you go. Cool. Cool. Previous, previous to the pandemic, we did a show here called um, Sky Deck or our Soar Show on our rooftop theater. Yeah. And that was, he's one of the most amazing flyers up there. We're done with our Falcon encounter and our aviary trip. Yep. Uh, apologies, if you hear any weird noise, it's actually pride over in the park beside the aviary right now, which is super cool. But I had a great time at the aviary. It's beautiful. And that Falcon encounter was super cool. What did you think? Man, that is a, that's a pretty looking bird. I mean, I think we got enough close ups that you'll be able to like tell. Yeah. And he's famous. He's famous. He was on the Tonight Show and scared some comedian with Jimmy Fallon. So, um, super cool. If you are interested in doing this, it is $74 per person. And that includes your entrance to the aviary, which I think is around $20. Yeah. So, it's really not a bad deal. You can also have a private penguin encounter here. You can do a private penguin feed. There's a sloth encounter. You can feed lorikeets. There's, you can, yeah, that you can do at any time. There's lorikeet feeding. So there's so much to do here and it's super, super cool. And it's a really beautiful facility and it's really great too. I love supporting the birds and all of the people that worked so hard here to make this place amazing. Yeah, especially since you worked here before. Yeah, since I interned here, it does hold a really special place in my heart. Once the wetlands are done, I definitely want to come back and check those out. Okay. Deep. So we really hope that you liked this video. Let us know in the comments down below if there's any other Pittsburgh things you'd like to see us do. There's, there's so much. There's so much. There's Phipps Conservatory. There's the zoo. There's the Cathedral of Learning. There's just so much always going on in the city. And if you want to see any of it, let us know. And we will, we will share it with you in the future for sure. Heck yeah. If you aren't subscribed, please do. We do have some Disney vlogs coming up in the near-ish future. Near-esque. Near-ish, so stay tuned for those. And like the video, share with your friends, check us out on social media, it'll all be linked down below. And until next time, stay, stay magical. magical. I'm gonna fly away. Okay. Bert. You're kinda chicken-winging right now. Bert. Okay.